أبرار from the KSA السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you doing, Sheikh? الحمد لله وشكرا Thank you for asking, Abrar الحمد لله رب العالمين May Allah bless you and the Muslim Ummah with Jannat al-Fadus Amin Allah يسلمك Sheikh, I have two questions Both of totally different nature First one is If you have an intimate relationship with your wife uh, after finishing, uh, I have heard a very renowned scholar say that it is if you're tired and you really want to go to sleep, uh, you can do wudu and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, mandatory to have your shower there and then uh, your ghusl and then go to sleep? Or you can do wudu and go to sleep and in the morning when you wake up for fajr, you should take your shower and then you can continue your day. If it is allowed to do wudu and go to sleep, then is it okay to read Ayat al-Kursi and Qul Huwa Allah Ahad and read, you know, the three last three chapters of the Qur'an before going to sleep? Uh, that's the first question. <coughs> uh, the second question is uh, regarding uh, uh, a house that has been uh, bought approximately two years ago. Mm. And uh, the deal of installment was very clear from the beginning. They said the first two years you have to pay X amount of money, mm. which is a small amount. And then the, after the two years finish, because the building would be ready, the person has to pay X amount of money. There are two conditions they have. Either you can get it financed through the bank, which is haram for sure, uh, no question about it. And the second deal, which is that you can get it uh, through the owner himself who owns the building. He is going to finance you, but when he placed in the amount of the finance, because it's not in Saudi Arabia, it's uh, somewhere outside in a non-Muslim country, they placed uh, very clearly that the owner said, if you get it through me, I will charge you this amount of interest or profit. Uh, well, they use the word interest, and just a few episodes back you said any contract which mentions even the word interest uh, it's uh, not allowed so mm. just wanted to know that uh, now after two years should I continue with the, the payments or is it haram okay I'd like to begin by answering the second question because it's a little complicated and it is lengthy instead of repeating the question again uh, such contract is invalid why well, even though a part of it is great but the other part requires you to pay interest and it is very obvious and clear you said uh, you have one of two choices other uh, finance through the bank with interest of course and this is illegal or finance by owner and in this case the owner requires an interest rate to be paid whether a lot uh, whether it, uh, it's a lot or a little that too is prohibited it will be best from the beginning if the entire thing is financed by the owner in a way that the owner adds up his profit. Now we're not talking about interest. And he says from the beginning, I'm selling this house for X amount. So he adds up his uh, profit and what he's looking for. And he says the entire amount is that much. You pay me monthly that much. Without adding interest, without calculating interest, without putting a term that if you delay the payment, you pay the interest a double and triple or you pay interest uh, at all so the the to diffuse this problem is you buy it directly from the owner and owner finance he says I'm selling it for this amount of money and he calculates his profit and how much he wants to generate out of that away from you you do not mention interest he does not mention interest it is not even stated in in the contract even if he sells it uh, more expensive than the market value. If you guys agree to that, that is perfectly fine. But once there is interest included, whether through the owner himself or the bank, then this contract is haram. Allahu A'lam. As far as uh, having an intimate relationship with one's spouse, then uh, uh, going to sleep, that too is permissible. It is not a must to perform host immediately. It becomes only a must in order to catch the next prayer on its time. So if somebody at night had an intimate relationship which requires ghusl and did not perform ghusl, no wudu, that is valid. But it is recommended to perform wudu and the Prophet wasallam used to do that not just for going to sleep if somebody had a relationship once and he wants to have a second relationship. 
performing wudu is some source, a sort of refreshment as well. It does not uh, remove the major impurity, of course. And that's why your question pertaining, if I do this wudu, will I be able to recite Ayat al kursi and Al-Mu'awwidhat and the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah before I'm going to sleep? Of course not, because you are in a state of temporary uh, impurity, major temporary imp uh, impurity. Temporary because you can easily remove it. Unlike a woman who is uh, in post-delivery bleeding for 40 days more or less, or during the menses, it takes so long, five, six, seven or more days. But for you, you can easily get up and take a shower and remove the major impurity. And it is major because with it, you can neither pray nor read Quran nor enter uh, the masjid. So the wudu is only to refresh yourself and to sleep on a condition of tour, but it does not remove the general.